Yo guys, welcome in today's video. In today's video I want to talk about actually a quote of John McAfee and I will just share my thoughts on this and I will also share why I think that this quote has actually something to do with your progress and development as a human being but also as a trader, okay? Let's keep it a little bit informal. Uh, we won't dive into the charts right now but I will tell you that it's going to be very, very interesting. John McAfee said something and that really touched my heart, but it took some time before it touched my heart. And the thing that he said is that use your mind as a tool to achieve or pursue the goals of the heart, which is the opposite of the mind controlling your heart and that is what I think a lot of people have nowadays in today's society uh, we are often controlled by our mind instead of using our mind as a tool to pursue the things that the heart desires okay guys sorry for the sound but we do get now and then a train passing by I hope that I hope that's okay. I hope it doesn't dis disturb the sound too much. But uh, yeah, let's go back to that to that phrase. So use the mind as a tool to to pursue the things that the heart desires, that the heart desires, right? Because what we often see is that we get caught up in negative thoughts, we get caught up in compulsive thoughts, which are not basically helping us, but we do engage with it right and sometimes we do engage with it till a till a moment that you start identifying with that thought and once you identify with a negative thought that thought actually has control over you because you are not your thoughts what you think is not who you are right this is also famous from um Eckhart Tolle, the power of the now you are not what you think but if we get caught up in our negative emotions, get caught up in, the, in this compulsive thinking and start identifying with these thoughts, then you actually can become what you think and therefore your mind is controlling you instead of using it as a tool. And the word tool, guys, I think is very important in this phrase what John McAfee used because a tool is something you use for a specific purpose. Let's say we, we have a nail. We want, to, we want to bump that nail in a piece of wood. What do we do? We grab a tool, we grab a hammer, right? And we use that hammer to bump the nail into the wood. But once that nail is in the wood, we put that hammer away. We put the tool away if we don't need it. And I think that's very powerful because if you don't use your mind as a tool, but you have you let your mind get in control over yourself, over your life, then actually what you're basically doing is you're walking around with a hammer all the day while you only need the hammer to push in the nail. And of course, the mind has a multifunctional purpose, right? It's not like a hammer that we just use it for for bamming, for like hitting a nail into a piece of wood. You can use a hammer for multiple things, but the mind is really a more complex tool right this is a problem solver you can do a lot of things with it but it doesn't mean that you need to use it 24 7 and i can also i can really recognize this in myself because once i'm not feeling good it's often that i'm here and that i'm not in this present moment so the moment that i'm actually feeling uh, stressful feeling maybe negative emotions and so on that is often a moment that i'm somewhere in the future or somewhere in the past with my thoughts uh maybe identifying with with, with any thought that's coming up which at that particular moment can be negative because i'm having a negative experience right but this also applies to trading right so when we have a problem we can use our mind as a tool to solve that problem. Or maybe when you have to do groceries, when you have to make a calculation, when you have to open a trade, when you analyze this, because that is a, gonna be an important point, the analyzation. We do analyze all the time. We train our mind to analyze every day these charts, right? Once we are not there at the charts, we gotta stop 
analyzing and we also got to stop using that tool so how does that apply to trading let's say we did we make a analysis for a trade we are going to follow that analysis but if there in between comes force like hmm what if I quit? What if I get liquidated? What if a flash crash comes? What if I miss out on this pump? Like all these, all these thoughts, which basically are not helping you with a objective analysis, but they are just your mind trying to take control over your emotional situation. So it's very important, and I'm now also talking to myself. It's very important that you can ignore or at least see those thoughts for what they are, see how insignificant they are, that they're just basically based on certain emotions and that you don't need to engage with them. So for example, if you miss out on a pump, you miss out on a certain trade, uh, you, can, you can see, you can talk with yourself, analyze why didn't you see this coming, which signals were there, were there that you didn't see which actually eventually made the price pump that you didn't see coming so you are not in the trade or you know you are not positioned in bitcoin you can learn from that but if you're going to engage with it emotionally and feeling that fomo and feeling like oh why am i missing out and you will just you will just waste your time and you will waste a lot of energy it's better to take your time take that tool your mind take it use it whenever necessary once you've used it put it away put it in the box be back in this moment don't use your mind don't use your mind 24 7 and I, this is super difficult i know this because i also uh, struggle with that but i think this is really the next step of us if we also want to uh, develop and progress as a profitable trader guys let me know what you think about the quote of john mcafee uh, in the comment section down below let me let me know what you think about my thoughts and yeah i love you all very much and i hope to see every single one of you in the next video